Hi, all of you awesome scuba divers out there. Welcome to Scuba Diver Magazine and welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A, uh, where I, Mark, a former dive instructor, do my best to answer your scuba diving questions. So if you do have any scuba diving questions, by all means, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Use this Ask Mark hashtag to get it featured. Uh, today, I'm answering a question from Sigif CP, uh, or correction, CB, uh, about five mil hoods and how it may affect your mask. So Sigif Kuba uh, says, Hi Mark, I used a 5mm hood for my last few dives and always had the feeling that my mask was leaking. I checked that, the ma that my mask seal was underneath the hood and also to loosen the mask strap, but nothing really helped. Do you have any advice for me? Thanks in advance. Um, it's probably that your hood is kind of changing the shape of your face. Uh, so your mask fits without it, but now with a, uh, a five mil hood, it's just kind of squidging. Now you can trim the, uh, the face seal back a little bit, so it doesn't like Kenny your face too much. Uh, but this is why I tend to prefer hoods that are a little bit larger on me so that you don't get that kind of smushing uh, like aunt that you only see at weddings kind of smushing your face too much uh, because it's changing the contours of your face and your mask no longer seals onto that anymore um, you're doing the right thing of your you're putting your hood on then you're putting your mask over the top and then you have to like pinch and put the seal of the the hood over the top of your mask but if it's like contracting it a bit too much, you may just need to trim that seal from your, um, uh, from your hood just a little bit. The main problem that I tend to have with hoods is that, um, yeah, the one that you get with a dry suit, for me in particular, uh, the hood tends to be a bit too small, so it just squashes my head. Uh, so I like to get a lot slightly larger hoods. And five mil is quite thick when it comes to hoods it really does muffle you quite a lot and there's not a lot of like bend and stretch to it it is just kind of bonk clonk on your head and with that seal they they can like smush your face in a little bit um so it can be worth either going up a size hood just to something that gives you a bit more breathing space but if the hood itself is quite comfortable you can just trim it back a little bit uh, only like try a millimeter at a time and then try it on and then repeat because if you go too much you can't put it back obviously um, and if you do come across a seam usually the seam is like on the chin uh, if you do have to go across that then just a dab of like aqua seal glue or something just to stop it from unthreading obviously you don't want it to just open out um, but yeah you, you can trim them back as much as you like uh, but don't go too crazy and that should hopefully help prevent it from like squidging your face in too much um i think that's gonna be it it might just be that your hair has naturally like gone down because you put your hood on it's not a particularly glamorous thing when you when you're putting your hoods on and everything and uh, and then you're trying to put the mask on over the top there is a non-zero chance that some hair has got in underneath that uh, that seal and you haven't noticed it um there's also where if you're wearing gloves to like pinch that uh, that seal and get it over the actual mask seal that you have like pinched it so it's slightly it's unlikely but you're still screwing around with thick clunky gloves around a fairly delicate seal um but my main thought of like a continually leaking mask is probably yeah your, your hood is literally just changing the shape of your face um so um so that's probably the uh, the downside and the way to counteract that is to yeah just trim the seal back a little bit so it doesn't squidge your face quite so much yeah you tend to find on most hoods that the the ceiling surface around the face tends to be a bit thinner than the overall hood for this exact reason because if you just have like seven mil of neoprene like all the way around just your face it, it really can be a bit confining um 
and yeah it's it's a raw cut all the way around that neoprene so if you want to you can trim it back uh, just be careful to make a nice smooth edge and if you do cross over any um, any seams where the neoprene meets uh, just put a dab of glue on that so it doesn't split uh, they usually glue it and stitch it but it's better to uh, to just be extra careful put a, a dab of um, aqua seal on it um, or other like neoprene glue um, i think that's probably the uh, the problem that uh, that you are experiencing uh, otherwise yeah it really is just down to clearing your mask um, or maybe getting a mask with a um, like a tougher skirt a lot of mask skirts nowadays they're made to be as like soft and, uh, and delicate as possible so they fit different face shapes which is nice for like blue water diving uh, but when you're diving in colder waters with thicker hoods you want something a bit tougher um, so look for like scuba pro gorilla uh, their frameless mask has a uh, has thicker um, silicone so it's a it's a little bit bigger but i think the uh, the silicone is a bit stronger um, Otherwise, yeah, just find a mask with a, um, a, a tough seal. But I think trimming that um, that mask, that correction, that hood seal back should fix your problem. Any other questions, by all means, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Uh, use this Ask Mark hashtag either at the beginning or the end. It doesn't really matter, uh, but it just highlights it for me behind the scenes so I get to see it. Uh, and I type out an answer as soon as I see them. Uh, remember to head over to our website, scubadivermag.com. Check out our magazine. Uh, it goes around in like all around the world, basically. And um, yeah, lots of new, interesting uh, articles monthly. Subscribe here on YouTube as well. Like, subscribe, do all that good social media stuff. Thank you for watching, everybody. And of course, safe diving.